give uh, give Maryland credit. I thought they certainly made the necessary plays there uh, to win to win the game. If, uh, they're obviously a really really good basketball team, and uh, we'll give them credit for winning this. I thought our, our guys fought uh, at times, but overall not enough. And I would say we, we, we did not make shots. Give them credit for affecting some of that as well. We just we did not make enough shots. Are you seeing some of the shots start to feed into more missed shots and start to become a little contagious, especially from three? You know, maybe. I don't know. They, they might, the players might have a better answer to that. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, if that's the case, then we got to get a lot, we got to get a lot tougher. You know, I think that, you know, the, the, sometimes, you know, players, you know, you, particularly with young teams, you know, you hear guys talking about getting their swagger back when they think offense and you know listen the reality is you know whatever that means uh you don't get it back on game day uh you just don't you get it back every day in practice that's a hard thing for a young youth to understand like you don't get it back because i say we need to get our swagger back or you watch a highlight video or you know you feel good in warm-ups you get it back by just putting one good day of work after another good day of work, after another good day of work, after another good day of work. That's how life happens. That's how it happens. You earn whatever that means, get your swagger back. You earn that. You earn that with your daily approach. And I think for us, we got to learn that. Uh, first, how important was Ayala to them in terms of it after that start when he came in? It's, he seemed to settle them down and get, get guys shots. And, and, and how does that? impact when you have you know when you have the early leads like that obviously it's very early in the game but when a team's not scoring and then all of a sudden they just you know, yeah he's a good player he settles and makes a lot of right plays makes shots uh he does, you know he's done that i think throughout his time here and uh, uh has the ability to kind of come in and give them a real injection of, of just good stuff off the bench chris uh how had you felt about guys uh, leading up to this in the last week or so. It, just, it seems, I don't know if you become unhappy about their approach after the practice team or if you had been unhappy about it coming in. I, I just think in general with, with the young team, it's a lesson we have to, we have to learn uh, and we have to improve in, I think, our, our habits when it comes to that. Coaches, we've got we've got to get our group better and understanding how important that is on a consistent basis. It's not like uh, you know, it's not like it's been something where it's so glaring I've had to kick them out or anything. I just think if you're going to win in this league, the best league in the country, we got to get better than that. Chris, what do you make Maryland defensively? I think they're really good. Their length provides, obviously, a lot of problems. And it's not just the length inside. The length inside. Obviously, Jalen Smith. Uh, and, and Mark does a really good job. They're disciplined. They don't foul. You know, I've always felt like Mark's teams uh, are, are really smart in how they defend you. They don't do, um, you know, even the young guys make, make a lot of smart plays. And he's, he's got a terrific plan. He and his coaching staff deserve some credit for that. Uh, CJ being ill and, and having to start DJ, how did that impact you, your substitutions throughout the game? And, and were you able to get as much out of those guys as you felt or thought maybe going in? Yeah, I, I thought. Uh, I thought you know, he just he was he was not a he was he was really sick yesterday. Um, C.J. Walker was, so uh, that was the reason that uh, B.J. Um, uh, B.J. started. Um, I think eventually we'll go back to kind of our, our traditional lineup. We'll see though. Um, uh, but I, I you know I, I like the idea of kind of B.J. seeing the game a little bit. But I thought he did some great things tonight, particularly after that first stint. Kind of he came back in and. and was aggressive and uh, I think ran the team well uh, in a game like this. Chris, this was uh, one of Dwayne's worst shooting performances of the season. What do you think went into that? You know, is the rib still bothering him or is it more somewhere else? No, I don't think he'd point to the rib at all. We just got to find the way to get him. He's a better shooter and better, off, better offensive player than he's performing. And uh, we've just got to, as coaches, we got to work. We got to get him better. We got to get him playing better offensively than what he is. Um, a lot of that's just going to come from, from hard work. Uh, but he's, he is struggling. You're right. He and Luther both obviously struggle tonight. Coach, 
Coach, you, you have uh, obviously a very physical center and a good game. How did you see that inside game working with Jalen and the people they tried to put on him? Good. Yeah, I thought I thought Caleb did some good things. I thought uh, you know his foul trouble uh, was an issue, and, and you know he's got to do a good job continuing to keep his emotions in check. Uh, as do I. I think um, he's a big body. He's, he's he's an easy target for some of those fouls, but uh, he's got to continue to show his hands and. But I thought our, our guys did a good job getting the ball at times in position. At the same time, uh, Smith's length did bother him. Chris, with, uh, with, with Lane and Luther, we were just talking about, and even C.J. Walker, too, I think all those guys have shown themselves to be pretty good shooters, or at least you know, above average shooters. Can you rely at all on, on the fact that you know those guys will get their shot back and, and then whatever you're going through right now will, will be, mend itself a little bit? I, I think we'll, we'll see. I think um, the quality of shot is the biggest thing that we've got to continue to evaluate. I do think Luther, I think he had six or whatever. I, I, I do think four or five of them were, were really good ones. There was a couple of deep ones that, because he uses his legs, are a little bit difficult for him. But the, the biggest thing is quality of shot. If they're getting good shots, I'm confident that they'll go in. They're just, they're in a rough stretch right now. Okay. All right, thanks.